after the show, Mike in his dressing room. Mike like, Dez is like, Mike, I'm gonna introduce somebody. I walk through the door. You ain't gotta introduce me to him. Move the fuck out the way. I know Bubba Dub. That's my nigga. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. It's up. It's up, baby. Listen, man, uh, when Roger getting out, man? Man, let me tell you something, man. Every time Roger come up for parole, I go right back up there. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga ain't learned it. Listen, look at them goddamn letters he writing. <laughs> Nigga ain't learned shit. <laughs> but it's funny you say that because um, I got a movie that's wrote called Roger's Coming Home. Wow. Shout out to my boy Anthony Corbin. Shout out to my boy Anthony Corbin. We collaborate. He's a dope writer. Anybody out there right now listening to me, Anthony Corbin is a dope writer. Movie, God, in two months, he had you the best movie wrote. He done wrote me two movies so far. I guess they ain't had time to really sit down and go through characters and who I want. But we got a movie wrote called Rogers Coming Home. Wow. That's going to be dope. That's yeah. going to be dope. Your people, see, you got a fan base, and, and, and it's kind of, people don't understand what this social media does is it gives you an independent fan base, I can say, to where yeah. they, they, you got them where, that's how I seen when I went to Country Wayne's yeah, show. Yeah, he got them. Man, man it was 3,700 seats full. He got them. And I was invited. Yeah, he and they brought me down, and then we went to the back and talked to him, and I was like, damn. Like I, I understand what you're saying about uh, Faison and them. Faison need to see this. <laughs> like Country like, Wayne is one that of the guys. Filled bro. them seats up, bro. He's special, man. Country Wayne is special. Crazy. I I country Wayne trying is to. motivation. I yeah, look at Country Wayne is motivation. He very much motivation. Love that dude. Like the way he coming with it. I look at y'all. I be looking at all y'all, man. Dez. What's the other one that you called me? We talked about the dude. I forgot his name. Chino Marco. Funny Marco. Funny Marco. Him and, him and he hit like me this. back. He hit me back and said he coming on the show as soon as he getting this. Funny Marco. No, we did that movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How Funny. was that? Dope. What? Just can you What's tell us about the movie? name of it? Um, he never gave me the name of. He it. never gave y'all just went out and how did y'all get y'all parts? Oh, you know, I got emailed that. They emailed But it. I wasn't looking at that shit. You know, it's my boy. You know, yeah. I can just read the part. Cool. I'm snitching in the motherfucker. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's me. Yeah, that's your, that's your that's character. character. That's yeah. easy shit for me to do. And, uh, you know, he flew me out. Uh, just keeping it 100. Um, good dude. Good dude. Solid dude. You know, sometimes, you know, people be trying to charge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I got to get paid. You I mean, about all that all the time, my G. It's about building relationship with these people. You know what I'm saying? And I learned the game on some on some different shit. You ain't you ain't always got to, you know, not talking about this situation, but you ain't always got to take money. You can take the back end. Yeah, real talk. The back end serious. Fuck that head up, man. Let me get 8% of this movie on the back end, brother. Dope. Because I know what it's going to do. It's going to get right. Yeah. How did you and how did you and Michael Elps? Mike Michael Mike Elps. Elps. Michael Mike Elps. Elps. Did you hear me say Michael? Yeah, I Elps. heard you. Sorry, Mike. How we link? Yeah, how did y'all link? Because well, I seen y'all. We had been together. talking in the inbox. Go back to Desi Banks. Desi Banks had a show in Ace Time. Dub, you need to pull up. I'm gonna introduce you to Mike. Cool. Get there after the show. Go meet Tommy Davidson. Uh, oh, uh, Tommy uh, Davidson. That's that's heavy. Oh, real that's heavy, heavy. heavy. Oh. Unk, I can't think of his name. He gonna kick my ass too. I just did that while ago on something. Unk, Unk, <laughs> Unk, Unk, Plague and Friday. Oh, um, the one that. Unk Elroy. I can't Unk think Elroy. of his real name right now. He gonna kick my ass. Oh, I don't even know his name, but I know who Uncle Elroy is because he be yeah. cutting up yeah. on that movie. You can't not know who he is. Yeah, he gonna kick my ass when he see me too. But long story short, after the show, Mike in his dressing room. Mike like. Dez is like, Mike, I'm going to introduce somebody. I walk through the door. You ain't got to introduce me to him. Move the fuck out the way. I know Bubba Dub. That's my nigga. <laughs> That's it right there, boy. But the crazy part about this shit, Mike Epps, manager, love me to death. Mm. As soon as I come in, I've been telling you about this motherfucker for the longest, Mike. Put him on the motherfucking stage. Just like that. And Damn. Mike was like, this nigga been talking to me about you every motherfucking day. <laughs> bubble dub, bubble dub. He's like, man, how you doing? I'm like, good, bro. And of course, you know, I have my wife there. You know, she's a groupie to Mike. She loves me. Oh, damn. <laughs> so like, come on and get you a hug and fuck on out the way. <laughs> I'm trying to get on the big stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was going to put me on the show in Dallas. Uh, he came up here to the, what was it? I can't think of that. Was it No Kill? No, The Trust. The Trust. The trust. Oh, okay. okay, I know what you're Yeah, he was going to put me on that show. And uh, just keeping it 100, he was going to put me on the show. And, you know, I was just going to do it on GP. 
But then I got one of them calls. Like, and you had to go. I need you on this date. You had to go. I looked at the numbers. I ain't gonna lie. I just real talk. Nobody. I'm telling y'all some shit. Nobody ever heard. I looked at the number. I had to call Shaq. Oh damn! Mm-mm. Yeah, I said Shaq, man. Look, I great opportunity to me to go over and do this show with Mike. He said, "What Mike paying you?" I said, "I'm doing it on GP. Tell Mike you get with him later. <laughs> <laughs> go handle your business." Exactly. That's love, man. He told me some real shit. I'm just, I'm, I'm saying no, PG. I'm saying it PG. How Shaq said, but Shaq didn't say it PG. I'm just saying it PG. <laughs> my boy got the commercials everywhere I want. I said what he really said, but. That's it was love, all love man. He was, yeah, me, he was always telling me, in your position, bro, you trying to get there. Mm-hmm. Don't you miss no money. Man, that means a lot, man. When some when you have those that conversations. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, you gotta have and then to have that type of uh energy or that type of individual to be able to affirm the fact that you're making the right decision and mm-hmm. they've been around so long in this entertainment industry type field and man, that's dope. <laughs> I mean he was he like Michael understand. You know? No, that's what and that's what I know he knew. But but you being one that's on the on the hey man, I don't wanna mess this relationship or how he might take it. To have that reassurance is dope, bro. Oh man, that that was love when he you know he, broke my damn thing. Nah. Okay, <laughs> it was love. It was love. You know, I, that's one thing I like about this. Now in the position I'm in, I'm able to call those type of people. Him, a T Mac, or Deshaun Jackson, or Dez Bryant. You know, yeah. people of, of of that caliber. I Shout could, out Dez Bryant, you know, man. I, could, I, could I like call, that. Uh, call and and just run and just you know just run just ask them simple things, it, simple yeah. questions. Connect- Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.